Hey, what's going on? It's your boy T Pendel. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you if you're new. It's free. All right. Two things I want to apologize for off the rip. I want to apologize for this forehead. You feel me? It's, it, it it looked big, but it really ain't that big. I think it's the camera angle because it's on super duper 4K wide lens and the lighting is lit. You know what I'm saying? If you look at it like that, it ain't that bad. Yes, it is. But focus. All right. The second thing I want to apologize about is uh is stopping the video. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm let the video play through. Today and then I'm gonna circle back around. All right, smash like button, subscribe. That's your team notifications on. Let's get into it. All right, story time about how I stayed with this guy until he gave me the final ick. So me and this dude were dating for two years. Well, we were dating for two and a half years. Okay, and a lot went on through that two and a half years. Um, and you know, I ultimately blame myself because it's like you just you kept going back you kept giving this person chances you know i feel like in order to kind of like free yourself from needing closure from something you have to give it to yourself and take accountability mm. i'm not gonna lie that's a heavy way to do things i mean but at the end of the day it's like once you take that accountability and you get through that mm. it's only up from there so basically throughout the relationship um dude kind of was showing me the things that he was capable of he was um a liar he was a cheater he was very manipulative i mean there the list goes on but somehow i still chose to find and see the good in this person right because in my eyes he just didn't know no better mm -hmm. so i'd like to think of that as a very patient time in my life you ain't gonna find that here no more but fast forward leading up to the final ick there was a lot of things um being shown now the final straw for me ultimately was um when i caught him cheating and the extent of the cheating it's almost like he was in another relationship uh, uh, i'm not gonna lie it's one thing for your dude to cheat but a dude out here in multiple relationships there's no fixing him there's no fixing a nigga that cheat period but hopeful me i was like maybe one day he'll see me for everything that i am and he'll stop and he'll say you know what she doesn't deserve that let me finally give her everything that she deserves let me be faithful when i found out that this man was damn near in a whole nother relationship with somebody else i damn near lost it the girl sent an edible arrangement to the house while he was at work and i was at his house and I read this edible arrangement, and it's just like, oh, babe, have a great season, this and that. And I'm just like, now, mind you, I had seen some things like um, the, the day prior that didn't add up to me, and I confronted him about it. He just made, he always made me feel like I was just crazy, okay? So I sat around, I looked at, I'm looking at the thing, I'm like, really like, hmm, find out this girl name find the girl's name he's liking her pictures and stuff like that so i'm like okay we got a match like it adds up wait till this dude come home and he comes in the door and he starts messing with the edible arrangement mind you he don't know who it's from or did he i was like oh your girlfriend sent you an edible arrangement he said i don't have no girlfriend so i was like oh you don't have no girlfriend and he was like no so I took that of arrangement and I threw it. Fruit fucking flew everywhere. At that point, this nigga puts his hands on me, which is insane to me because how you put your hands on me because I caught you cheating. Mind you, this dude is about 240 pounds, six foot, six foot one. And he's a linebacker. So at this point, I'm just like, oh no, this is not gonna fly. I call the cops. I'm packing my stuff up. I'm packing my stuff up um after this entire altercation ensued and then um they get there and we talk to them we go our separate ways we're having small communication after i get back home because at that point i was in florida now i'm back in texas and he's just apologetic this and that but still kind of giving non-apologetic do you feel me i block him because at that point i'm just like you know what that that was that was it like that was that that was the final straw that was just sick then what happened he sends flowers to me and my baby about two three months after i think it was like two months he sent her birthday flowers 
he sends me this bouquet talking about um things don't have to be the way that the way that they are something mind you there was an open investigation so i'm like maybe he's doing this because of the investigation although i did not press charges and um i more so wanted it to just be like a written statement saying that that this did happen or something took place you know what i'm saying because it did i didn't want to see him um i didn't want to see him in trouble that's it yeah so i'm like okay maybe he's sending the flowers because he's trying to cover himself but i'm just like bro like i'm not even talking to them i you know i had a little communication with them initially but when they started asking for the evidence which i have all of the evidence i stopped talking to them y'all because a part of me still did not want to see this man in no kind of trouble i still did not wish bad on him so we've been talking back and forth for since that happen or whatever and you know I asked him about the situation I'm like you know so whatever you know what's going on and this and that and then he's just like he's in such a tough place and there's so much going on in his life and it's just been a downhill just all this stuff right and I'm really feeling bad for dude because it's like although it's like that is your karma it's hard to watch the people that you love receive their karma even though they like wronged you so He's just like that. He wanted to focus on getting through the season um, and then figure us out in the off season, right? Y'all, why I found out he's still messing with this girl and had her at his game, which is not a problem. But it's like, why would you even come back talking to me? It's like you just wanted to do me in one last time. Now I can't spare you because you should have just left me alone. Uh, we're going to start this journey from the beginning. Um... But before I even like do my recap and pause the video and do all that stuff that y'all love that I do so much, uh, the majority of these women that are in relationships with these NBA players, NFL players, MLB players, or whoever, are you know they seem happy. You know that whole aesthetic of a NBA wife or an NFL wife. It seems amazing and it seems fun. You know um, financially. You know, it's always a, a, a great thing to have money, which most people don't, which most of these athletes don't. So now that's why they got all the attention and all the women at them. They're in the top 1% of money makers in the world. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, they're on TV. And on top of that, the majority of them are in shape and fit. Like the average NFL player is 6'2". Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the guys are strong, fit, nice cars, the money, everything. The whole women see it on Instagram. They might not even be interested in you. They see, oh, he plays for uh, the Ravens. Oh, oh, girl, you got to secure your bag. You know what I'm saying? That's what all these girls are trying to do. They're trying to get in, show you how nice of a girl I am, and look what I'm doing for you, and I want to show you how I could be here for you, et cetera, et cetera. The majority of these women that are in a relationship with these ball players let their man cheat in peace. I don't give a damn who it is. If you think I'm and I'm I'm never gonna be on no cornball stuff where I'm name dropping like that. But if you think I haven't been down here in Miami and been at these clubs, whether it's old school clubs like Dream, Cameo, or Live, been down here when it was a All Star Weekend or Pro Bowl Weekend or the Super Bowl has been down here and been in the clubs around these athletes. In these VIP sections, watching them pop bottles and all the women around and watching them without a care, you know what I'm saying, F fondling, groping, tonguing down, getting rubbed upon, leaving the club with these women. You think they wife ain't at the crib? You think they all single? You think they don't have kids, a whole family? Like, these women know what they signed up for, but they be trying to change, change the dude. And all athletes aren't like this. Like, no no cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even when I, <laughs> I played college ball, it, it was probably like... Out of all the dudes that was in a, if if sixty percent of the dudes in a, on the team was in a relationship, it was probably like five or six dudes that was like faithful on the team. Like you know, what I mean, especially you're in college, you have a good game. These girls trying to pick you up from the airport. You know, what I'm saying I got I, I, I college had a good game. We but we lost. I had a girl pick me up from the airport in a trench coat with lingerie on under, and she was older. She wasn't even in school. She said, "Let me come pick you up." I was like, man, all right, you know what I'm saying? I don't really feel like in the mood. She picked me up with the trench coat and the, and the lingerie on. I forgot I had a damn, was on the damn football team. I forgot we lost the game. You know what I mean? But this is what they doing, 
All right, so let's let's get into the video. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit because she she talk a little slow, you know. What I'm so so we're gonna hit it with the 125. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, story time about how I stay with this guy until he. Can. Hold on, let me get my let me get my let me get my ish together, cause I don't even I don't wanna I don't wanna miss nothing. I don't wanna miss nothing. Hit it. Final ick. So I mean, this dude we're dating for two two years. Well, we're dating for two and a half years. Okay, and a lot went on through that two and a half years. She already said a lot went on. Do you think she would have dealt with a lot if he wasn't a millionaire? Do you think she would have dealt with a lot if he wasn't making seven, eight figures? Let's be serious. No. No. She be trying. They, 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 they get into it trying to change him. How did, how did he get you? Where did you come from? Where did you come about? Where did he bag you from? You think you're the only one? Two years with the athlete? Most of these girls that are with these athletes and that they settle down with and they marry, they be girls they knew from high school. The girl they were with in college. That they, they, they just kept up to the side. Okay, I ain't ready to settle down with her right now. I'm going to keep her right here. I'm not saying that's right, but that's what happens a lot of times. The girl's ready to settle down. Like, I ain't ready for that. I'm, I'm having my fun. You sit on the sideline right here and hold it down for me. Still don't give my, you know what I'm saying, my, my cookie away. You know what I'm saying? And then when I'm ready, I'll come back and swoop you. And that's how a lot of them girls are, are where they're at. A lot, a lot of them dudes ain't meeting them girls, you know, one or two years after being in the league or already popping and be like, I'm going to marry this girl. No. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I, and I know, I know, I know a player that, I'm not going to say that. Um, years, um, and, you know, I ultimately blame myself because it's like you just, you kept going back, you kept giving this person chances. You know, I why you kept going back? Why you kept giving them chances? Why do you think? Did, did you do that in the past with, with the regular Douglas Smugglers? Did you do that with your high school sweetheart? Did you do that with the guy you was in love with in college? No. I feel like in order to kind of like free yourself from needing closure from something, you have to give it to yourself and take accountability. I'm not going to lie. That's a heavy way to do things. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's like once you take that accountability and you get through that, it's on the up from there. So basically throughout the relationship, um, dude kind of was showing me the things that he was capable of. He was um, a liar. He was a cheater. He was very manipulative. Throughout the relationship, he was a liar, he was a cheater, and he was manipulative. I haven't heard anything positive yet from throughout the relationship. Why are you standing in a two-year relationship this long if he's doing all that? If you already knew he was a liar and a cheater and manipulating you, like it, 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 it like that's wrong. I feel bad that she went through that, but why did you try to throw that out? I mean, there the list goes on, but somehow I still chose to find and see the good in this person, right? Because in my eyes, he just didn't know no better. He a grown ass man. He's a grown ass man in the National Football League. You think he don't know no better? You think he don't know no better? They watch film all week just to know better. You think he doesn't assess his life and be like, yeah, this this is wrong, but uh, I can't help it. Or oh, he he knows it. He what you, what you mean? He knows in red zone, within the 10-yard line, if the, if the quarterback and the offense comes out and they're in empty and, and say they're, they're in shotgun, that is a 100% chance that they run a draw play. You think he'll know that? If he can assess that and read that, he knows if his trip's gun strong that they're going to run a tunnel screen. It's a 70% chance. You think he'll know that? Come on, fam. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to think of that as a very patient time in my life. You ain't gonna find that here no more. But fast forward, leading up to the final ick, there was a lot of things um, being shown. Now, the final straw for me ultimately was um, when I called him cheating and the extent of the cheating, it's almost like he was in another relationship. I'm not gonna lie, it's one thing. And you know, the crazy thing, it's probably another, another chick that, that think that she's his girl and would consider her as like the girl he's cheating with that's the crazy think part for your dude to cheat but a dude out here in multiple relationships multiple. there's no fixing him there's no fixing a nigga to cheat period but hopefully me i was like maybe one day he'll see me for everything that i am and he'll stop and He'll say, you know what? She doesn't deserve that. Let me finally give her everything that she deserves. Let me be faithful. What do you, what do you, what do you, des what is, what is, what do you, what does she deserve? She deserves honesty. 
You know what I'm saying? But what I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, like, what makes her think, hey, I'm coming into this millionaire's life. You know, we've been together for two years. I deserve this. And I'm not uh, agreeing with his cheating. I think cheating is wrong. He should have been honest. But she's naive to to sit here and say she caught him multiple times. And then this was my last straw and my biggest ick. After after you already, if you're a cheater and you've been cheating, and she ain't even letting you cheat in peace, but she ain't leaving. She keep giving you drama, so you got to keep begging. And you didn't caught him cheating three times, he's still cheating. You're probably the ick. Like, what the hell are you doing? You keep catching me cheating. He doesn't care that much because he's not even hiding it that good. Third, uh, you keep catching him cheating, but you keep coming back to him. If you're going to leave, leave. He probably getting frustrated. I'm, I'm tired of keep saying sorry. You know what? I do this. I do this. Come on now. When I found out that this man was damn near in a whole other relationship with somebody else, mm-hmm. I damn near lost it. Probably telling him you're loving everything. An edible arrangement to the house. Yeah. He's at work. Yeah, yeah. So what? You know he cheat. This ain't your first rodeo. Eat a strawberry and go sit down. Get 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 you a strawberry and go sit down somewhere. And a pineapple and relax. And I read this edible arrangement and it's just like, oh, babe, have a great season, this and that. And I'm just like. When last time you sent him an edible arrangement? When the last time you sent my dog a fruit basket? Huh? Now, mind you, I had seen some things like um, the, the day prior that didn't add up to me, and I confronted him about it. He just made, he always made me feel like I was just crazy, okay? That's what cheaters do. They flip it. They flip it. That's what, oh, she's, she's a stalker. She's crazy. She's always thinks about it. She's mental, something wrong with it. All she does is snoop and pry. She always thinks somebody's doing it wrong. That's what cheaters do. They make you seem like you're nuts. And you know that. So I sat around. I looked at, I'm looking at the thing. I'm like, really like, hmm. Find out this girl's name. Find the girl's name. He's liking her pictures and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, we got a match. Like, it adds up. Wait till this dude come home. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? One girl sending you fruit. The other one snooping through, seeing what pictures you're looking at, and seeing who sent the fruit. You supposed to double down and get a, go get a bigger fruit basket. This little weak-ass fruit basket, this little side piece, get, this weak-ass mistress, and this weak-ass fruit basket. Look at that. Fruit don't even look fresh. Got this fruit in a clear trash bag. Not to hide. This fruit is fresh, and then you should have fed it to him. And some lingerie with the, with the kitten heels on. Yeah. You, that was what you should have did. But no, nah, you were trying to see who pictures he liking. Just to yell at him. Just to be back with him. And he comes in the door, and he starts messing with the edible arrangement. Mm-hmm. Mind you, he don't know who it's from. Oh, he know. He know. He know. The girl done already said, hey, I sent you something. I sent you a little surprise. You know what I mean? Because the girl that sent him something already know he got other girls. She's trying to up the other girls. She's trying to say, hey, I sent you a little something. I bet, I bet they ain't doing that. These girls sending you a little nudes and shaking them yams and texting it to you. I'm doing that too. But hey, I sent you a little something. I, I spent a little money on you. You know what I mean? I spent a little hundred dollars. You know what I mean? We get home from practice or work or whatever you're doing. Take a little fruit basket. You feel me? Where did he? I was like, oh, your girlfriend sent you edible arrangement. He said, I don't have no girlfriend. So I was like, oh, you don't have no Damn. So, so he told you right there that if, if if you ain't even a girlfriend. I don't got no girlfriend. That means you ain't the girlfriend either. A girlfriend. He was like, no. So I took that little arrangement and I threw it. And that's when I lost it when I was listening to it the first time. You threw the fruit. The fruit ain't do nothing to you. That's fresh fruit. You feel me? Fruit is expensive. I bought a, a pack of grapes two days ago for $4. It's getting outrageous. I got the little cotton candy grapes. Y'all got to check them out at Win dixie they, they, they hitting on something. The cotton candy grapes from Win dixie You got to eat them in two days because them hoes go bad quick. But hit them up. Tupac. Fruit fucking fruit everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You got the fruit flying everywhere. You know what I'm saying? This shit look like Kung Fu Panda in here, man. You got everything flying all over the place. This nigga puts his hands on me, which is insane to me. Because- now, I don't agree with that. 
I'm going to put that out there right now. I don't agree with him putting, I don't, I don't care if he was restraining her, shaking her, if he stiffed on the ass trying to catch the fruit. And no point in time should you be putting your hands on a woman. And on no point in time should a woman be putting her hands on a man. I, I always say this. I'm in the business of everybody keeping their damn hands to themselves. Fellas, as a man, what do you, unless she pulverizing your ass and whooping your ass and you got to, you know what I'm saying, block something like that. What are you getting out of putting your hands on a woman? You are already physically stronger than this lady. What you putting your hands on this lady for? You know what I'm saying? Would you want somebody to put your hand, put their hands on, on your mama or your sister? No. What you putting your hands on this woman for? I don't understand. Even should she cock back and punch in your mouth, you, you, all you could do is be like, damn, I let her punch me in my mouth. I should at least duck. My reflexes is weak this week. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to you know, get my shit together. You know what I mean? Get my, get my Mayweather going. But what they do, you, you should be able to eat that. That's how you put your hands on me because I caught you cheating. Mind you, this dude is about 240 pounds, six foot, six foot point. There's still always three sides to the story. This is her side, it's his side, and then the truth. You know what I mean? It might have been a little tussle, what's going on, some, some. Who knows? I wouldn't. Shit, I wouldn't know. And he's a linebacker. So at this damn, point, damn, damn. Okay. She's trying to get your ass to play Clue. My man Clue be like, does your person have a hat on? No, he don't got no hat. You start cooking all the people that got uh hats on your on your clue. She trying she trying to get you break it down in the NFL, play linebacker, uh in Florida. She 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 it ain't number three teams in Florida. God dang. Then you could probably go to her Instagram and see what city she been shacking up and chilling in. That that'll break that down to some more. It's not gonna fly. I call the cops. Ooh, that was crazy okay. right there. That's crazy work. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're in danger, I totally understand. But you already know what coming with calling the police and domestics with the NFL. You got, they getting your ass up out of there. That that's tough. You know what I'm saying? That shit. I remember when that happened. To Ocho Cinco, bro. I was like, oh, he about to come to Miami, his hometown. He about to put on woo the woo. Then a headbutt. Oh, and that and it, and it was never the same. You know what I'm saying? I, and I felt like he had at least two, three more years left in him. It was crazy. He had a great situation set up too. Get myself up um, after this entire altercation and so, and then um, they get there, and we talk to them. We go our separate ways. We're having a small communication after I get back home because at that point I was in Florida. Now I'm back in Texas, and he's just apologetic, this and that, but still kind of giving non-apologetic. Do you feel me? I block him. Because at that point I'm just like, you know what? That that was that was it. Like that was that that was the final straw. That was just sick. Then what happened? It's been a lot of straws now. Cheating straw, misogynistic straw, lying straws, cheating straw again, fruit straw, I move straw, he hit me up straw, police straw. There's a lot of straws. There's a lot of straws. He sends flowers to me and my baby. About two, three months after, I think it was like... That's what I was throwing, too. I was throwing this... He sends her birthday flowers, and he sends me this bouquet talking... You got a whole jit. So this man let you come to Florida. I hope you had your your your, your baby with you. Probably a daughter, because he sent flowers. You know what I'm saying? He let y'all come to the house. Y'all, he got y'all at the house. He playing stepdaddy. He playing on somebody else's save game. And, he, and, and you throwing fruit in front of your daughter? That's traumatizing. That ain't how you're supposed to raise the kids up. You throwing fruit. He jacking your ass up like Jody Joe from uh whatever the hell that movie is, man. Damn, man. That's crazy, man. All in front of the little baby. Y'all should have just sat down and ate that fruit together. You and your daughter. About um, Things don't have to be the way, th the way that they are something. Mind you, there was an open investigation. So I'm like... Maybe he's doing this because of the investigation. Although I did not press charges, and um, I more so wanted it to just be like a written statement saying that that this did happen or something. To she wanted my dog to get a warning. <laughs> you know, police pull you over, be like, yo, please don't give me a ticket. Let me just get a warning. She wanted my dog to get a warning, but she wanted that shit on file, though. Place, you know what I'm saying? Because it did. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, how you going to tell on the man? But, hey, I don't want you to get in trouble, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, officer, I I just want to slap on the wrist for him, okay? Don't take him downtown. Just take him around the block. Scare him real good. Drop his ass back off. I didn't want to see him. Um, I didn't want to see him in trouble. That's it. 
Yeah. Hey, hey. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's sending the flowers because he's trying to cover himself. But I'm just like, bro, like I'm not even talking to them. I, you know, I had a little communication with them initially, but when they started asking for the evidence, which I ain't never called the police on somebody and say I didn't want to see him in trouble, and I didn't call the police on the woman before. I remember a girl, they had hit me up one time in college. They had caught me. Two of the girls had me in the room. I was like, damn, y'all got me. It's, it is what it is. I heard a knock at the door. One of the girls went to get up, opened the door. It was six more girls. It was eight girls in my dorm room, fam. All yelling at me, cussing at me. I said, y'all get y'all ass out. Called the police. I said, they in here. They trespassing. They won't leave my room. And then my roommates and them, they went to the adult club. And I did not want to go because I'm not really a, a big adult club fan. I, I should have took my ass to the adult club. And, um, they in the room. Woo -woo -woo. The last one walked out the room. You know what I'm saying? That, that kind of set me up and caught me up, right? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, y'all just get out. I'm looking at all the girls go down the hallway. Yeah, 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 y'all get y'all ass out. I turn back this way. Man, this girl cocked back and smacked. The, the, I'm talking about She smacked me bro You know you get smacked like this Her whole palm smacked me She was tall She built like a volleyball chair She like 5'11 Bro she smacked me Them girls jumped in the air And cheered like yes Like they won a Super Bowl mm -hmm. Hey you best believe I told on all of ass You feel me You feel me I'm not no street dude I'm telling Y'all broke in here Y'all harassed me Y'all held me hostage. Y'all trespassed. Y'all wouldn't leave. And I got mentally, physically, and verbally assaulted. Abused. All of that shit. I wrote that down, boy. I was, uh, ooh, I wrote that down, boy. <laughs> and uh, all of their ass had to go through mediation throughout the school. And they had to write a letter, you know what I'm saying, saying how they was going to change their behavior. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> One thing I'm going to do is call the law. You feel me? <laughs> I pay my taxes. I'm putting them hoes to work. Shit. I have all of the evidence. I stopped talking to him. Y'all, because a part of me still did not want to see this man in no kind of trouble. I still, still care about him. She still care about him. She still so care about him. we've been talking back and forth for since that happened or whatever. And that sound like, about this sound like more straws to me. Situation, I'm like, you know, so whatever, you know, what's going on and this and that. And then he's just like, he's in such a tough place. And there's so much going on in his life. And just been a downhill. Just all this stuff, right? And I'm really feeling bad for dude because it's like I'll he probably lost a couple games, missed a couple tackles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three weeks. Yeah, he has six missed tackles, two loaves, a drop in the session, and four blown assignments. He know he about to, the 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 dagger about to come down. They about to cut his ass. Now he having a tough time. They losing games and shit. They ain't in the playoff picture. It looking crazy. Although it's like that is your karma. It's hard to watch the people that you love receive their karma, even though they like gone. And I'm going to let y'all know, I don't believe in that karma shit. That shit's weak. Stop. I hate that. Oh, oh, he's going to get his karma. Oh, she's going to get her karma. What? Okay. They hurt your feelings. They hurt you. They did you wrong. What if they still do or did more good than bad? Wouldn't they receive more good karma than bad karma? The hell is karma? Come on, man. People do d dumb things, and sometimes dumb things happen to people. It's people that do horrible things that are hella successful. It's people that stomp, stepped on, stomped on, sexed on people to get to the top, and they're just at the top. What do you say? You're going to get your karma? No. It's just, it's just, it's just stupid. Thank you. So, he's just like that. He wanted to focus on getting through the season. Um Nobody ever talks about good karma. Um, and then figure us out in the off season, right, y'all? He put that be a part of the off season plan. <laughs> How we gonna get better in the off season? I'm gonna get on this relationship. I'm gonna get in the gym. I'm get my protein shakes. I'm gonna get right. Why I found that he's still messing with this girl? Yes. He had her at his game. Yes. Which you think you about to leave me? You know what I'm saying? Take my little stepdaughter. Take my little yammy whammies. Slide back over to to, to, de to Texas. And leave me with no yammy whammies and no stepdaughter. And my house just empty. Something definitely about to be up in here. You, if he was cheating while you were there, you think what do you think is happening while you're gone? It's not popping. But it's like, why would you even come back talking to me? It's like you just wanted to do me in one last time. Now I can't spare you. That sounds like she about to go back to the to the police and uh and 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 give them every bit of information that they need. Is it a comment section on here? Let's see what the comments saying. Cat Williams had the world talk. Okay, boom. Uh, once you're over 25 plus mature, you realize athletes are no are a big no no. So shit, what, what you start dating regular dudes after the athletes and knocked your ass down for five years? 
after you done had your fun and flew you out, and then you look for something serious, you, you, that clock start ticking. Now you like, oh, athletes are no, no. You been knew they was a no. You knew they no, no at 22, 23. But you was living. You had multiple athletes. I would have ate the edible range. Exactly. I would have ate them joints too. Act like ain't hey, nothing, nothing, nothing came. And we ain't getting nothing here. You wanted to make sure you weren't actually uh, going to press charges. Yeah, of course. How you got unblocked? Great question. She unblocked him. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this video, man. Never again. It says my NF my experience dating an NFL player. She got on here and couldn't wait to look, tell her whole little truth. Y'all know what we doing. She got a YouTube bio. You know what I'm saying? You see what the body was looking like. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me get that up out there for they give me for some copyright infringements or something. But yeah, man, this is crazy, man. Videos you just started three years ago. You've been with him for two years. Where the baby dad where your original baby daddy at? Trip to the doctor to see my baby. What what where, where he at? Y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm gonna wrap it up right there. Catch y'all on the next one.